Hi traders, short recap of my trading session today and I want to talk about mRNA, one of my best trades ever. I was planning to short mRNA pre-market time based on the daily and we're going to discuss that a little bit later. Now take a look at the nice bear flag formation. So I'm looking at mRNA, understanding that the daily should take it down and I'm about to short mRNA once it starts breaking down out of this bear flag formation, which is right now. So I'm short 4,000 shares just under 4 $75. I posted this trade today in my trading room and lots of traders followed me and I was planning a 10 stop, a $10 stop loss, meaning I was going for the big money and I was also thinking, well, if it goes wrong, I could be down like 40 grand. Now take a look at what happens. It's moving down, it's touching a new low and then a huge spike up. Now, something you need to know about spikes. You never move out on spikes. These are spikes that meant to shake you out of the game. You always wait for a reversal. You wait for it to calm down a little bit. You never know why it happened. You never know if it was just one big buyer. We call them fat fingers. Someone who just buys large quantity of, sh of, of, of stocks with just one click of a button. Could be a mistake. Could be something that one uh, somebody intended to do in order to shake you out of a good trade. Now, take a look at the way it reverses. At that point, I'm starting to think, okay, maybe I survived this trade. Now, it's posing down a little bit here and this could be a very dangerous point because at that point it could continue higher or continue to come down seems like it continues to come down now at that point I'm thinking, well, I probably wasn't wrong. It starts coming down and I'm going to post this video so I could talk a little bit more about it. Now, take a look at the formation here. Again, the first bear flag formation, which was a right, the right thing to do to short it at that point. Then a huge one minute or one and a half minute spike up. It was a first forward, but it was a one and a half minute spike out, which again, I would say never ever move out on spikes. Always let the stock calm down. You just, I don't care if it, you had a 10 point stop loss and it happened to be a 15 point stop loss. At that point, I was down more than $50,000 and I did not expect to be down more than $40,000. But nobody really cares. The market doesn't care. The stock doesn't care. Where's my stop loss? I just have to hang on and wait for the reversal. I have to. That's the technical thing to do. So if you're not trading the right quantity and you just can't handle the stop loss, uh, the new stop loss, just lower your size and hang on and you just have to wait until the reversal. Now, uh, it's not only about the reversal, it's also the fact now that it's coming down. It is coming down. It had the chance to continue higher. You can see it right there. At that point, it paused a little bit and kind of thinking whether it should continue the new uptrend or get back to the lows. Now, of course, my intention was to short it based on the daily. We're going to talk about it later. And I expected it to continue coming down. But at that point, it is a very important uh, technical point here. At that point, I'm feeling like, well, it seems like it's deciding, it's finally deciding to move down and continue coming down. It had the chance to move higher, failed. It paused a little bit there, it failed. Now it's coming down, which means I could add. I could add to a winning trade. You never add to a losing trade. You don't add when it's up and you average down your loss. You just wait for it to go with the direction you originally anticipated it to go and at that point where you feel like well it failed to move higher and it seems like it will come down and yes that was just a shakeout that's the point you should add you should add to a winning trade just like you're playing blackjack and you get uh, uh, 11 <laughs> from the dealer and the dealer has six if you understand what i'm talking about you double down sometimes when you're trading stocks you need to double down or to add well it's a dangerous stock i didn't want to add um, too much size so i decided to add just 1000 shares but take a look at uh, what's coming next and well if you like this video till now how about giving us a thumb up it helps more people like you uh, join our channel and learn a little bit more about day trading so uh let's take a look and see what happened next and we're back to the live trading video and that's the point again where I decided the point is the point of no return. I decided that should be the point where I should add. So I'm about to click that button right now, clicking 5,000 shares short, just broke down under the lows and it does continue the downtrend. Now I'm going to fast forward this. Uh, um, it's a very fast forward. Um, 
there's no reason for you to wait and see what happened there but you can see from uh, the clear behavior of the stock that it is trending lower and again we're going to talk about the daily soon and some more indicators but uh, here here comes a new low and it's touching new lows all the time and uh, profit is up now over sixty thousand dollars over seventy thousand dollars that's the point where it reached my target in fact over my target you can see that uh, it's under 458 right now and i'm about to click the button and take my partial i'm going to leave another 400 shares uh, covering now 4600 shares leaving 400 shares around six thousand dollars that initial uh, partial was over seventy thousand dollars in profit so i'm, I'm I keep riding the wave but again the more important view of the stock is in fact in four different time frames the first one I started with was the one minute candles because I wanted to short it uh, during the first few minutes and if you short a stock during the first few minutes you just have to watch watch one minute candles first 10 minutes 15 minutes you have to watch one minute candles but then after you did that you move to five minute candles approximately 20 minutes or 20 to 30 minutes after the, uh, the trading session has started you should clearly move to five minute candles now here's the same stock at five minute candles here you can clearly see the downtrend your decision decisions should be made according to the five the intraday five minute candles because intraday five minute candles it is what institutional traders are watching and they are 80 percent of the volume they make their decisions based on five minute candles so should you i'm not getting into all of the technicals here you need to learn them but the decision making of institutional traders is five minute candles and if it's trending lower then they will sell they're not shorting but they will sell so that's the five minute candle you should be watching the one minute candle is fine to watch when you make a decision during the first few minutes depending on your strategy if you have a, a short or long strategy during the first few minutes I do then you should be watching one minute candles later five minute candles if you don't trade stocks during the first 10 20 minutes fine always five minute candles now let's take a look at the daily the decision making pre-market time to short mrna was based on the daily i posted it on my pre-market picks to my trading home and you're very welcome to join because it's a free online live uh, youtube trading home just look for trade and may barack my name and you'll find it so take a look at mrna yesterday it popped up like crazy and again we talked today about intraday spikes but they're not only intraday spikes they're also daily spikes daily spikes are more uh, long-term oriented investors they're doing that it's not an intraday spike so yesterday mrna popped up and after such a big move up normally comes a pullback pullback comes because some profit taking and so on um, and um, so so again you watch the daily you make a decision based on the daily that uh, the stock is likely to come down and then you look for an intraday behavior that suggests that you were right of course sometimes if you're wrong you just don't take the trade but based on the daily i posted it pre-market time and i uh, decided to short it and then i was looking at one minute candles to short it and then five minute candles to manage it after the one minute candle short and then then you should always take a look at 15 minutes as well take a look at 15 minutes because that's what the core traders investors are usually looking at and again you want to follow the stock in their eyes as well the eyes of an intraday trader with one minute candles during the first few minutes the eyes of the institutional traders with five minute candles the eyes of the long-term investors with the uh, 15 minute candles and again technical analysis i'm not getting into the basics of technical analysis here but you should be doing that as well based on technical analysis rules and of course the decision making based on 15 uh, sorry the, the daily chart of the stock as I mentioned earlier now here's the results I just made uh, over $70,000 in MNA and I'm still uh, riding over $6,000 in open trades, uh, 400 uh, shares short because I'm looking for a, uh, a bigger move. But um, again, that's my best trade today. I also had uh, two losers, uh, one of those bigger than the other, as you can see, one very small. But that's a fantastic trade, a fantastic day. And again, 
starting on planning my day uh, and then uh, executing it based on one minute, five minute, 15 minute candles and so on. So I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, please give us a thumb up and if you want to follow me and more videos, uh, you can subscribe. There's a button right here and click on the notification bell so you could uh, uh, get uh, to be notified of my future uploads and um, there's plenty of links right here below if you want to join us for free education open a brokerage account a comics account and so on so thank you again for watching i'll see you in my next video bye bye